Hey, I'm Mac, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, just a few things for the intro, okay? We're gonna be watching a video uh, from Melaleuca, okay? They're, they're a company that kind of sells a line of products that, it's kind of evocative of um, Arbonne or Amway where they just kind of have this range of products that for your you know household or whatever. Um, so we're gonna watch a presentation about that. That's like the main topic of this video. But first, couple of things. Um, number one, I just wanna share this thing that I ran across in my research process for my video that I wanna do about Theranos. I wanna finally make that video. Um, and I am in the process of drafting my script because my angle on it is gonna be, see, I was in pharmacy school from 2013 until 2015, which is like leading up to uh, the fateful uh, Wall Street Journal article that sort of turned the tide on that whole venture from uh, John Kerry Rue in 2015, uh, being me. I was very, very, very skeptical of this whole Theranos nonsense at the time. I, I, I just felt like that has to be bullshit. There's just no way that that works the way that they say that it works. It's just not possible. You can't just hand wave that away. Anyway, part of what I'm doing for my research on it is I've been going through to sort of get a sense of how much critical opinion, if any, existed in the popular media before the um, John Kerry Rue article versus how much critical opinion existed among health professionals and especially among lab professionals at that time. And then I will also incorporate what my thoughts at the time were and what we can sort of draw from all of these different camps. And the reason I'm telling you about this now is that I just want to share this little segment of a paragraph from an article on Investopedia, because um, it's great. It's great. The paragraph begins, Holmes, the mother of a one-year-old child who is pregnant. I mean, wow. Investopedia with the real scoop here. I feel like that's the real story. I, I, I mean, how did that happen? And by research for my script, I mean using as material to quote and or form my own conclusions <laughs> about for my original material, okay? I don't mean to, to like read as if I wrote it, okay? I'm not James Somerton over here. By the way, if you have not watched the H-Bomber guy and the surprisingly Todd in the Shadows videos about James Somerton, uh, I highly recommend. Oh, it's so good, worth every minute. There, one is the the H Bomber guy video is four hours long, and it's it's so good. It's so good. So you know, break it into parts or something. All right, it's great. You know, I never did like him, James Somerton. I I have this. I don't know if it's just. It, maybe it's just confirmation bias, but there are times where I've watched a video from someone that I'm not familiar with, or, or even just like heard a presentation from someone that I don't know, and I just get this sense of of like very specific like dread from it. I'm not able to like put my finger on like what is what about this is causing me to have this just sense of just dread from listening to this person because like it's not like they're presenting anything ominous or anything but like i just i don't know there's something that makes me uneasy about it and i got th that that sensation came up for me the way the first time i watched a james somerton video actually i've only watched like one of them um because i i it came up on my phone while i was at work and i was like okay i mean we'll see what this is and it was the pirate one. I don't know, I just had that sense of dread. And then like farther into the video, I forget what he said, but he said something and it was just so obviously, like it was just so obvious that he had just fucking made it up 
that I just I was just done with this dude. I was like, I don't know, something's up here, something's off. Yeah, and I clicked out of that shit. I don't know, but yeah, oh, so good, such good videos. It's good to see at least that when someone does shit like this, that there can eventually be consequences. Okay, you know, and here's the thing about people who plagiarize is they never stop. Not only do they never stop, but that instance that you caught them on, that's just where you caught them. That's just the time they got caught. It's like finding a mouse in your home, okay? That's just the mouse that you found. That's not all the mice that were there. So I would highly encourage you not to give anyone who is caught plagiarizing a second chance because they don't stop. They never stop. They keep doing it because the the that moral boundary that most of us have, it just it doesn't exist for them and they never stop doing it. Okay, so on to the main topic of this video. <laughs> Mela Luca. Hi, my name's Alex. Thank you so much for taking the time to click on this link and learn something new. I'm so pumped for you that you're interested in learning more about the wellness box, which represents Melaluca, the wellness company, the largest online wellness shopping club in the Pacific Northwest, which will totally cut down your need to rely on Amazon, Target, Walmart, the inner aisles of the grocery stores, the big box stores, the brands, all the things, and just consolidate and be a part of something really, really cool. And you know what? This box, it's changed my life. And you might be thinking, how can a box change your life? Well, I encourage you to stay on for the entirety of this quick presentation. Speaking of quick, I'm going to have to. I'll say something nice. She has really good like presenter body language so far. Um, although I'm a little bit concerned about the inhale, exhale posters. Hopefully those aren't like reminders or something. I don't know speak very quickly because I want to honor your time and there's a lot of information here. So hang tight till the end. And I have a question for you at the very end of this. Let me share my screen and we're going to jump right into it. A little bit of my backstory. I've been shopping here for two years. I'm a busy mama from Northern California. We have four children and we homeschool all the things. And you homeschool all the things. This makes me wonder if she's from like NorCal or Northern California, like actual Northern California. Like, are we talking like Emerald Triangle or are we talking NorCal? <laughs> I'm guessing Emerald Triangle. <laughs> this can be information for a busy mom like me. It can also be information for someone who's single, a man or a woman, a couple, or a huge family, a small family. Okay, so just literally anybody. So think about how this can benefit your life and plug into where you are at in the stage of your life. Melaluca, the wellness company, melaluca.com, our largest online wellness shopping club in North America, A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, a different kind of company. Yes, it's online shopping convenience like Amazon, but so different from Amazon. Melaluca is both the manu- I mean, the thing with Amazon isn't really like that it's online. It's the fact that like, they have shipping for free that you can get. I, mean, I feel like that's that's sort of like the key to their uh, current dominance. Factor and the store products that are made in the USA, 99 percent. One. I mean, that's not really that special for for things like laundry detergent, um, cosmetics, you know, uh, soaps things like that. I That's pretty normal for those to be made in the United States. It's not really, it's not like, you know, shoes or clothing or electronics where it would be a very big deal for it to be made in the USA because that's rarer. Yeah. I've recently made it a point to try that I'm trying to only buy clothes made in the USA. Like I just started it recently trying to do that. You know, it's a lot more expensive, but I just feel better about that because there's at least a certain minimum standard being met for the way that the workers are treated. Like, at least I can know that, you know, that there that there's some floor to how badly the workers can be treated. If I if it's here, like, I at least know um, what's going on there. Whereas, I mean, I don't know what's happening in Bangladesh and Vietnam. I don't know. And I, but from what I hear, I hear it's not good in terms of the way that factory workers are treated. I don't know. It's just something that I've been like, just so, I just figured I would try 
see what happens, see how it goes, see what's hard to find, see what's easy to find. Percent in Canada and our mascara is made in Italy, but it is incredible. So I encourage you to try that. What, you can't make mascaras here? out they have a legacy of success they've been around for three plus decades okay they started in 1985 privately owned which means they'll never be sold out to the big brands the big conglomerates the big investors well i mean that's because you would need someone who wanted to buy it i don't think anyone's really jonesing to buy melaluke i'm just saying like the majority of the products on the store shelves are two billion in annual worldwide sales and 100 debt free I don't think that that's the advantage that you think it is. They always say this. They always point out that their company is debt free. The thing is, usually a company you're trying to grow, you're trying to bring in as much um, profit as you can, right? And so being debt free might mean that you're not doing that. The optimal strategy for your business might be for your company to take on some level of debt to fund growth of a product line, to open another store in a different location or whatever, based on the strategy you have going forward. So if the amount of additional profit that you can earn by taking on debt and doing that is greater than the amount that the financing will cost or you know the, what the interest will cost then the smarter strategy is to take on the debt so that you can bring in more profit i mean that's not what you have to do but i'm just saying that this debt free thing is not the flex that you think it is when it comes to a company when it comes to a person sure that could be but it not not for a company really because a company is just trying to bring in as much profit as possible and sometimes taking on some debt might allow you to grow your profits much faster what brand store can you say those few things in a row about hardly any in and out burger me a debt-free company should speak so much to you as consumers about integrity about inflation about where this company is going and no it doesn't it doesn't tell me anything about that and being, being debt free, it doesn't really say anything about the ethics of the company, really. There's nothing unethical about borrowing money. There might be something on I would say if anything, what's unethical is lending money uh, some of the time, not always. Most of the time it's not unethical, but a lot of the times it can be like payday loans and stuff. But what I'm saying is, I, I don't see what that tells me. All that tells me is that perhaps the company is being a little bit too, is perhaps not being as aggressive as would be optimal or is being too cautious or is not serious about growth. I don't know. Because like most companies have, have some debt because they've taken that, they've run that calculation of uh, this is the amount of interest that we'll be paying, but this is what we believe we can achieve um, by, by investing this into the business. Yeah, I don't know. This information is about to blow your mind, especially when I talk about the new beef aisle. Yes, beef, meat. The company is headquartered in Idaho Falls. Look at this trajectory of growth, especially in the past two years. That's a lot of happy shoppers. We are not direct sales and we're not multi-level marketing legally. And yeah, you can say it, but it won't make it true. Structurally, we are not classified that way. We do have a referral program. I'll talk about that at the end. But this store, this online store has always, always competed and still does with the big dogs. Johnson & Johnson, Clorox, Am Really? I would love to find out about how they're more affordable. Well, you don't compete with them very well. Amazon, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Walmart, and Target. If you're looking to get away from some of those places, this is a nice place for you to come land, and I think you're going to totally love it. Products are tested against these products. They're safer, they're more effective, and they are affordable. Plus, when you shop at the stores, 63% of the price you pay brings you no value because that has to go towards advertising, middlemen, marketing, retail stores, and a long distribution system. Sure, but it's also... Um but you are also paying less because 
the scale of some of these businesses allows them to get products at much cheaper prices than you possibly could because you don't have the volume for it. And also, I, I believe you guys get, uh, you said you had a referral program, which is basically a multi-level marketing program. So uh, where, where exactly do those commissions come from? Do they come from the commission fairy? It's like the tooth fairy? They don't come out of nowhere. They come from somewhere. Melaleuca has found a different way. They are factory direct to the consumer. Instead, they take all those dollars for all those other things and they invest it in high quality ingredients. You will feel that when you open your box. Safer. How am I going to feel that when I open the box? Ingredients getting away from the toxic, caustic chemicals. and Such as? You guys, 20,000. Household switch every single month. I've heard that number closer to 30 and sometimes 40. Then why didn't you put the more impressive number? Is Melaleuca too bashful to share it? That's honestly kind of a slow growth rate when you consider that there are 300, like what, 325, 330 million people in the US. So that would take you like what, like 1500 years to get everybody to switch. Also, how many people switch back? Probably a lot. Because that those products uh, are expensive. Small little rinky dink thing you saw someone share about on Instagram. This is an incredible operation, blessing families all across North America for three plus decades. Product philosophy. A blend of nature and science, science meaning products tested in labs, tested against the national brands, as I mentioned, um, products that are going to be shelf stable, but use safer ingredients, natural ingredients, affordable products. They invest in quality and they are rigorously tested. What's so cool is this is not just another thing. Like who needs another thing, right? Like another subscription, another something. This is a store. Okay, so you're going to switch your budget over from the big box stores, the other places, take those same dollars, spend them better, high quality, more effective, better value, safer for the environment, safer for your home. But it's not the same dollars because these products cost significantly more than comparable products at other stores. So why am I paying more for the same products? Home, tons of different products, totally customizable, home cleaning and laundry the full line of all of that. Vastly superior, organically sourced, non-GMO supplements, fitness, nutrition, weight loss, personal care. Think anything in the bathroom, soap, shaving cream, deodorant, toothpaste. Just think, do you are- uh, It would make me concerned to hear that a company that I've never heard of is making this many products. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. It, it concerns me to think of a company that I've never heard of in my life making all of these products. It's a little spooky. It's a little spooky. Also, the fact that these products cost more than even the name brand products at, at like a Walmart or a Costco is kind of appalling when you consider that name brand products in retail stores, they're paying for like the good placement on the shelves. They have to do so much, they spend so much money on advertising. And I'm not saying that I like paying for advertising, but what I'm saying is these people are not, are they just have their distributors that they don't pay, right? Stupid. It's crazy that they're more expensive. Already buy these things, right? That's what's so cool. Premium skincare, hair care, a full cosmetics line, even some natural remedies, treatments, some snacks. We have coffee. We have essential oils. I'll talk about that at the end. A little bit about our clean. How is it not alarming to see a company you've never heard of making all these products? Coffee? Like, what the fuck? in laundry aisle because it is so popular. It's called EcoSense, complete laundry system. We have three fragranced laundry detergents and one unfragranced for the fragrance free folks. One cool thing about our fragrance, if you do like having a little something nice in terms of smell, we have three different ones and they adhere to a safe scent standard, a strict fragrance policy banning the 26 most common fragrance allergens, no formaldehyde, no petrochemicals, and they are lovely. And we have dish care, all-purpose cleaner, stain remover, disinfectant, toilet cleaner, floor care, cleaners for every home in your room. I recently hired someone- Every home in my room. What's your problem? Someone to help me with cleaning and they use only Meluca products and it's phenomenal. It, it's like spark- then why do they have so much trouble selling these if they're better and you say they're the same price, which they're not? 
sparkling and it smells nice and fresh and I don't feel like I'm going to choke and have to open a window, you know? But it's not fresh. It's a synthetic fragrance in there. It's not a natural fragrance. There aren't natural things that smell that that intensely. So, I mean, so whether you like it or not, it's a synthetic thing that you're breathing in. That's why I don't like fragrances. You know what I'm saying? So we can get rid of all that toxic stuff. We can replace it with products. With our toxic stuff. That truly work that are safer for your health. Also, our SolUGuard is EPA registered. It's a natural botanical disinfectant. It's gonna replace Clorox Lysol. And EPA registered means it, it's the grade that can be used in schools and hospitals. Also, our cleaning products, no chlorine bleach, no ammonia, no phosphates, no quaternary disinfectants, no phthalates, no parabens, no formaldehyde, no abrasives. We have never paid an insurance claim for our products harming anybody. All right. That's a really weird way to put it. And also, yet. You probably should put the word yet, you know, because you're, you're a very small company at this point. It'll happen. It'll happen. Don't worry. Your day will come. Also, uh, you don't pay an insurance claim. Your insurance company pays an insurance claim. Just a little bit of a nitpick there. She just keeps repeating herself with no safety caps. Awesome. God. This is huge. Just look at the lawsuits from the other companies, right? Plus, no childproof caps required. Well, those other companies have a much higher amount of sales. If you sold as much as those other companies did, you would probably have lawsuits too. Fired. Ponder that. I have to talk quickly because I want to honor your time, as I said. But break, jot, jot down a note. Ponder that. No childproof caps. Think about how confident a company must be. And to never have paid out one insurance claim, that is incredible. Renew Lotion, I actually have it right here on my desk. Oh my goodness. Just throw this in your first box. Just try it out. Send me a message. Let me know. Competes against national brands like Eucerin, zero petrochemicals, works amazingly. I have a personal testimony with this product. I love it. 17 times moisture barrier improvement against Eucerin. Our products are concentrated. So it's like, what does that mean? A seven, 17 times the moisture barrier. I mean, that sounds like it would be very, very greasy then. If it's 17 times the moisture barrier, a moisture barrier, there's only one way to have a moisture barrier on your skin from a cream or a lotion or an ointment, okay? There, the only way that happens is you have to put, there has to be a hydrophobic layer on your skin, okay? What's a hydrophobic layer? It's like, you know, petroleum jelly, uh, heavy, you know, skin cream, if it's 17 times more of a moisture barrier, then it that sounds to me like it's probably fucking wax, basically. Or it's this is just the results from some bullshit clinical trial that your company did. Because like, what is that? What is an 88 percent improvement in visual dryness? Here's the thing. If your hands are very dry and cracking as we go into the winter here, here's what I do. And it works very, very well because I, I don't I don't like having like slimy hands. OK, but what I do is I put like a very, very thick, greasy, either a cream or sometimes like if it's really bad, I'll put like an ointment like hydrolatum or whatever. Um, but I usually go for like a Cetaphil cream and I put like it, it thickly on both hands, like really slather it on. And then I put on a pair of nitrile gloves. Yeah, that's the key to this, which is gonna amplify that sort of moisture barrier effect and really ensure that everything is just locked in. And then I just leave the gloves on uh, for like as long as I can, like maybe like an hour or two. Um, but even just a half hour really helps. And what's awesome about it is number one, you're not getting your greasy fingers everywhere because you got gloves on. And number two, they increase the effectiveness of the moisturizer. And then usually within like a couple hours, you can take the gloves off and your, your hands are no longer like actually greasy. They're just, you know, nice and soft. It works super well. I highly recommend it. And you don't need any special kind of lotion for it. You can just do like a, a Cetaphil cream. You could do a hydrolatum ointment. You don't got to get anything special for it. Works super well. Yeah, oh my God. I forgot to slide my tree into the frame at the beginning. Can't believe I forgot that. Oh, Christmas, my Christmas tree is delicious. 
Oh, oh, Christmas, my Christmas tree is delicious. That's such a good song. Let's follow la 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 la, let's go. So they're better for the environment, um, less fuel for transportation, less plastic. And if you do the breakdown, you're gonna save a ton here. If you, if you do your consumer spending patterns over the course of a year. You are a fucking liar. I just found, I just looked at the ingredients list of this, of this Renew right here. Now let's see here. Here are the ingredients for the Renew. Deionized water, glycerin, Petrolatum. National brands like Eucerin, zero petrochemicals. Petrolatum is the third ingredient, is the third fucking ingredient in that product. And she's telling you- Zero petrochemicals. Petrolatum is a petroleum product. It is, it's often called petroleum jelly. It is made from petroleum. And it's the third fucking ingredient in here. And she has the nerve, has the audacity, or has the ignorance to tell you that this product does not contain any, contains zero petrochemicals. Petrolatum's the third ingredient. So uh, it doesn't seem like they're very trustworthy. And I just noticed that when I was looking for the prices on some of this stuff. So, you know, uh, yeah, so it seems like the information we're getting from these people is pretty dubious. Furthermore, in terms of pricing, here's some here's some pricing. They have a shampoo that's 16.8 ounces or 500 milliliters, and that costs nine dollars with the discount, or ten or twelve dollars without the discount. In my opinion, that's pretty expensive for a for a private label you know, basically a store brand shampoo. That's very expensive for that. That's not worth it, okay? No. Furthermore, I would point out the Environmental Working Group rates a lot of Melaleuca's products as a five or higher. For example, the Renew Intensive Moisture Therapy right here, that was rated a five, which is a moderate hazard based on its ingredients. But also, how about based on the fact that the representative for it is lying to you through her teeth or doesn't know what petrolatum is, but feels confident enough to tell you zero petrochemicals. What the fuck? Check this out. Mellow Power Laundry Detergent, a very popular product, right? Everyone washes their clothes. So you get 96 loads for $18.99. That would take you two bottles of two times Ultra Tide and you'd pay $25.94. So maybe you're just you or- Okay, well, I mean, yeah, Tide is expensive. Tide is like the premium, the most premium brand of laundry detergent. And you're also getting the most expensive kind. I know you're gonna say that yours is super uh, awesome or whatever, but given that I've never heard of it and you make an alarming amount of other products, it seems like you lack the focus to have a product that can compete with the quality of Tide. So I'm just gonna go with the fact that you can get uh, a laundry detergent that has 128 loads in the bottle for like $10 from Walmart, okay? It might not be like your, it might not be Tide, but it'll be just fine. Besides, I use Perseal because uh, it was the highest rated in Consumer Reports, and I just trust anything Consumer Reports says because that's what kind of guy I am. Just a small family, and you're thinking, I don't buy my laundry detergent every month. Well, look at your pattern over the course of a year, and what's cool is you don't have to. Totally customizable here. Plus, these national brands, they're charging you up the wazoo for a ton of water, okay? Look at the percentage of water in these products. Plus, Okay, then get then get powder laundry detergent. Even the cleaner brands like Method and Seventh Generation, they are owned by those big conglomerates, as I mentioned. Do you take supplements or vitamins? We have an amazing no supplement aisle here: heart, immune, brain, bone, joint, anti-aging, gut, sleep, and mood. So much more. What's cool about our supplements is we have a patented Oligo technology which delivers minerals to the body just like nature. I can send you some more info on that if you want to do some more research. Um, Oligo is clinically proven 10 times more absorbable than national brands. 10 times more absorbable. Well, that's scary. You might overdose. You're going to get 10 times the dose. That's scary. 
and bullshit. See, a lot of people think that supplements are required to prove the effectiveness of what they're claiming, but they don't have to. They're, they're, the supplement industry is more of a just if something happens, then they get investigated. They don't have to prove that it's safe or effective before they put it on the shelf. And they don't even have to prove that what's in the bottle is actually what's in there. It could be anything. Our coffee is incredible. I highly doubt that that's the case. Fresh, flavorful, fairly sourced. I get the organic rainforest blend ground. You can also get the- Why would you want your coffee to come from the rainforest, which presumably entailed cutting that rainforest down? The whole bean, try it out. It's so good. Yeah, you know, I just, I have always wanted to have coffee that was made by the same company that just sold me laundry detergent. That's the mark of quality, really. Koala Cubs Baby Care line is an incredible baby line. I'm including this slide because I know a lot of mamas out there are diapering and using baby wipes. I love our baby wipes. I had a baby in diapers when I first started shopping here. So I am a true customer of our baby wipes and they are incredible plant-based dermatologist tested, cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, all the things gentle and safe compared against like seventh gen water. God, she's driving me nuts with the, all the things. Wipes, koala cubs are amazing. Oh, say Bella. Okay. I have to keep this presentation going. Say Bella, all things, hair care, skin care, cosmetics, beauty, three things I want you to think about here. Okay. Uh, quality, Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, high quality beauty products, cleanliness. So these are going to either meet or exceed European standards. You guys banning thousands upon thousands upon thousands of chemicals that the U S still allows in their standards for whatever reason and pricing target style prices. Everything I have beauty wise, I'm not a guru, but I love it is say Bella. She just, yeah. So she doesn't know what she's talking about. Bella, my, all my makeup. I have a few nice perfumes, hair care, skin care, incredible lines. So much here. Our essential oils, nine to 10 levels tested. I'm going to assume that probably they must be getting all of this stuff from like private label manufacturers probably. Because I, I, I have to imagine that the, the, I doubt that Melaleuca themselves actually manufactures all these things. I know they say they are, but I, that I don't see how that's possible. They probably are getting their products from the same places that stores get their private label products from, I would, I would say. That's probably what's going on here. Because uh, otherwise, like, how would they just make, how would they be making such a range of stuff? Guaranteed to contain no synthetics or impurities, all the things. So uh, but they're pay but they're charging you they're selling you private label stuff but they're charging you above what you would pay for a brand name so that's what's kind of crazy about this and of course they have essential oils single oils blends diffusers accessories incredible value against the competition and like i said the highest standard of um, potency and cleanliness in our oils. Oh my goodness. In January of 2023, Melaleuca launched a Riverbend Ranch Black Leaf, Black Label Beef. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what does this mean? So members only exclusive. This is a beef box. It's a USDA prime high choice meat, pasture raised in the USA. Zero. Pasture raised? How the fuck else do you think that they raise cattle? It's not like they have battery cattle. That's not a thing. You think they have battery cattle? Here's the thing with beef is like, you don't need to get it sent to you every month or whatever. Just get, get it and then you just freeze it. It'll be good for like months and months and years in the freezer. If you just keep it frozen, it's fine. Okay. Also, I like how we're, we're not at all about the environment anymore. Now we're all about sending you a box of beef. I like how we were not given a price or like a quantity. <laughs> on like a fraction of the products we have almost 500 but it's it's incredible to shop here there are so many things that we get every single month but i got to keep this rolling so membership fee one time annual membership fee so membership fee one time annual membership fee one time annual membership fee one time annual one time annual annual one time Annual just like any other shop club like sam's or costco ours is 19 dollars. incredible you get a 30 to 50 percent discount on your products okay sam's club and costco also sell brand name products 
in addition to having two of the best private labels around. It's a little bit different from Melaleuca, okay? And also, you don't have, like, an actual store I can walk into with Melaleuca. Furthermore, when you look at their prices, this discount doesn't exist, okay? It's it, because the price that you would pay if you weren't a member is so exorbitant that it's laughable. At the end of the day, the fundamental problem with this stuff is you have this, you have this 30 to 50% discount but the discounted price is basically still more expensive than some brand names and it's definitely more expensive than most store brands but they the comparisons they're they're showing you is to you know to tide they're comparing their detergent to tide they're comparing their bathroom cleaner to scrubbing bubbles okay but that's not your competitor because you're not an established brand the reason that people will pay more for a brand name is because they have a um is because they have like a track record of offering a good product that you're familiar with and they have like a reputation to maintain and, and stuff like that. I mean, personally, I usually just get store brand, but that's the problem with this with with this line of reasoning that it's that they're so cheap, so much cheaper. Well, yeah, you're cheaper than the brand name some of the time, not all of the time, but you're not cheaper than the store brand. And guess what? The brand name is not your competitor. You're competing with the store brand, okay? Because you don't have that reputation that a brand name has. I haven't heard of you. I haven't heard of the store brand either. And that's your competition. Literally nothing to reach that. I'm gonna break that down for you in a minute. And it's no risk. You can cancel at any time. It's not a car contract. You're not signing your life away in blood, nothing like that. So every product in the store has a point value and you accumulate 35 in a calendar month to maintain your membership. It's super simple to read. Ah, see, she's like, oh, there's no contractor, but you have to, uh, you have to earn 35 product points every month, which is, uh, you got to spend 70 to $80 a month minimum. You know, when I get my Sam's Club membership, I don't have to, I don't have to spend a certain amount, okay? They're, they're good as long as I uh, just paid the membership fee. I don't have to buy anything in a given month. Each my vitamins are 42 points alone. So I've already met and exceeded that with all the other products I have to order to make my home function. Also, this is not just like another thing, right? It's not just another randomized thing coming to your door. It's all about customization. So when you enroll, what do you mean another, what do you mean another randomized thing coming to my door? Is that a thing? Oh, you're going to set a backup order that says, Hey, if I ever forget to shop within the calendar month, here are the products that I know I'm going to use in my home. And you set that up in the beginning. So, oh, that's great. That way you don't have to deal with the stress of forgetting to spend money at the store that you signed up for that you have to spend a certain amount at, or you'll lose your membership that you paid $19 for. Wow, that's awesome. If you ever do forget to shop on the last calendar day of the month, they'll ship that out to you. We have a- Yeah, I mean like, you guys, being able to just choose to not shop or just not going shopping if you don't need anything, that is so passe, you guys. It's all, you, you, you clearly you forgot to shop. You didn't need it, but you forgot. <laughs> Amazing partnerships and member only benefits like a partnership with a home security system an identity protection service and visa. The visa benefit is that you can accrue shopping cash simply by doing everyday tasks like filling your car up with gas. I have all three of those products. So just ask me about them and I can share more with you. We also- They make it sound like those things are included but they're not included. It says right there, it says save over $25 a month versus LifeLock. And who knows what this InfoGuard is? I've never heard of it. I, and I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't pay for LifeLock either. Melaleuca Home Security? Are you kidding me? I, I mean, okay, ho these home security systems, they don't do anything that you couldn't do by yourself. Okay, like it's not it's not like the technician at ADT has superpowers that you don't have. Also, I don't know what you're so paranoid about, honestly. Ser really, like, relax. People are so scared. And then this unlim unmatched rewards credit card after your first purchase and up to eight six percent back in loyalty shopping dollars. I'm assuming that that's only when you buy from Melaleuca, though. So it's like a store card. Good Lord. And, you know, it also says up to. So that means it could be zero. 
have a marketplace. So we don't have everything in the Melaleuca store, right? Not the shoes you need for your child's soccer practice or the barbecue you want to get your hubby for Father's Day. But if you shop through the marketplace, you can recirculate loyalty shopping cash into your Melaleuca account. You also get $100 in free shopping cash when you start split into $20 chunks over your first five months. As a new member, I highly, highly recommend checking out the new member packs. They're available only in your first two months, and it's going to be over $100 in additional savings. You don't have to get a pack. Spending $299 is not saving money. Okay, we clear on that, that spending money and saving money are, are actually the opposite of each other. I recommend it because a lot of these products you're going to want to try anyway, and you're going to save a ton, and they're only available. I, I assure you, no, I'm not in your first two months. Melaleuca is not MLM and it's not direct sales. It's set up differently through a revenue sharing program. Every shopper was referred by another shopper. It's a referral system. You can participate in that or you don't have to. But what's so cool is that we're all just shoppers that love the store and you can earn income by sharing it with others if you want. 81% of the people just come to shop. They don't want to refer. They just want to get their box. Let me tell you what that means. What that means is they signed up for this thing because their friend was pressuring them and then they didn't do anything after that. They just kind of forgot about it. That's what happens there. It's not that they're actually shopping there. Delivered their products, their toothpaste, their... Also, I'm sorry, this is just an MLM with different words applied to it. So their uh, granola bars and their vitamins and their coffee and all the things, right? They have a men's line, we have men's deodorant, just tons of stuff. And they don't want to share with others. And that's totally fine. 19% of the store want to participate in the shop and share program and earn some income. If that's you, or that might be you, listen on here. So we just refer people. You can refer others through your account and earn income. It's pretty cool. What we don't do is we don't carry inventory. Okay, there are very few MLMs that require you to carry inventory these days. They're almost all done by like an online portal thing, okay? So like, stop saying that. Don't take orders. We, we're not distributors. We don't do multi-level marketing. It's, it's not bill. Okay, most MLMs, you don't have to take orders. You, you send the person to your online store, which is kind of what you're doing. So I would say you are an MLM. Things are collections. We don't pressure people because everyone's seen an overview. They know what to expect when they come to shop. It's no risk. We can earn commissions and lucrative bonuses. We have different statuses that you can build your business towards, which is really. Oh, I see. This is just like a store. Like, you know, when you sign up, you know, for Costco and then you go in there and Costco is like, if you tell this many people, you can earn $14,000 to, you know, you just got to get six people to sign up for Costco. I mean, there might be like a little referral, like a referral reward or whatever, but like, it's not like this shit. Really cool. Of course, this would be too hard to explain right now, but if you're interested, we'll meet with you personally to hear about your personal goals. I wanted to share with you a few quick stories. Yeah, you know, like when you go to Costco and then you sit down to have a meeting with them to discuss your personal goals, like a, like any normal store. On the referral side. So this is one of the business reports from my personal friend, Kristen. She came to shop with me um, about two years ago. And one of her checks, she made $5,752. Oh my God, that's incredible. She made $5,000 in a month. Gosh, that's... Oh, wait, I do that already. And her repeat income has grown to, at this point to over $1,500. That what does that mean? That is life changing. She doesn't have Instagram. She just builds and shares with people she loves and has helped other people do that and has built an incredible business here. This is one of my personal business. I thought it wasn't multi-level marketing. I thought it was a store. Reports, $26,826. I know that's a big number that might seem overwhelming. But as I mentioned, this can have the possibility to really change lives. And that's what we're doing on our... God. Oh, my goodness. Team, it's called Operation Freedom. And you can participate in... Operation Freedom. Uh, also, I mean, the fact that it says right there her annualized income is 44000 So I don't know. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at, but look at all these presentations she's having to do. Let's see. We got a... See, she get... 
Look at all of her. Um, most of most of this income over here, this twenty six thousand dollars, is in the form of bonuses paid directly from Melaleuca. See, so you got the mentoring bonus, you got a le leadership development pool, you got the another mentoring bonus, you got let's see, pace setter bonus, you got one time one time advancement bonus. Da, da, da. And then something called adjustments. I mean, what does that even mean? Who knows? But like, it doesn't look like a lot of this is from stuff that you would keep, that would be available to you to earn. And it looks like she can only earn this stuff one time. Not or you don't have to. My repeat income at this time, this was July of 2022, was $3,700. Last month, my check was $15,000. My repeat income has grown to over $5,000 a month. Oh my God, she almost makes as much as I do at my nine to five. What I wanna say is on our team, if you do decide you wanna refer, we have all different ranges of earnings. So yeah, that's what I look like when I receive a package. Oh, we have even category ones, of course, that just wanna come shop. They don't wanna refer anybody. They just wanna enjoy the products. They constitute 81% of the company, right? There's zero pressure, but I'm not gonna put myself in a place to assume people may not wanna earn some additional cash. It's trying times right now. Think about what a little bit of yeah you'd be doing them a huge disservice okay extra cash could come into your life and do for your family for your goals for your dreams and we do that all here with a model and a vehicle that makes sense mellow luke is a company filled with integrity they're helping american families and they deliver everyday products it's awesome so you could be a category two that would be shop and refer here and there anywhere from 200 to 2000 a month is that an income claim? I think it is. You may be interested in a category three, which is shop and share big time. This is me. Sounds like a hurricane. Coming in. I saw the vision. I wanted to help families. I I thought, man, this just makes. Okay, Raven. So much sense, right? And you want to. Yeah, it makes too much sense, you guy. Come in and build a business. All these memberships are the same. The same exact membership. You. I, I mean, I guess. Sure. Who cares? Come in, you pay the membership one time fee, you shop monthly for 35 product points. That's it. And That's it. You just have to spend $80 a month. And then you get to decide, am I a category one? Am I a category two? Am I a category three? I think that's decided based on wind speed, actually. If you're a two or three, we'll get with you and, and we'll share more on how to take next steps in the referral portion of your business. Of course, of course, Melaleuca reps would go into a hurricane. With that, you guys, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for listening to this information. And my question to you is, are you a category one, two, or three? Let me know, or the person who sent you this video know, and let me be the first to say, welcome, welcome, welcome to Melaleuca. We are so excited that you're interested in checking this out. All right, let us know. Bye. Have a good one. Uh, yeah, I'm not a category one, two, or three because there has never been a Hurricane Mac. All my friends, like, yeah, like basically all of my friends have had uh, hurricanes that were their names, but not me. <laughs> my mom has had a hurricane, my dad has. Although at the same time, I don't know if I would want that. I don't want that. But uh, yeah, my, my best friend was a category five and my ex-boyfriend was a category five and the deadliest hurricane ever to hit the Atlantic Basin. No, we're still friends. Yeah, well, Mela Luca sounds really fucking stupid. She sounds like she doesn't know what she's talking about if she's telling people that that moisturizer has zero petroleum in it when it actually contains petrolatum as the third ingredient. Not that there's anything that, I don't think there's anything wrong with using petrolatum. I think it's a good, it's a very useful product. It's, it's really good at forming a, a nice barrier to lock moisture in. It's good for um, chapped lips. It's, I mean, it's not like it's harmful because it's derived from petroleum. And the other thing is like, it, there's not a, like extra oil being extracted in order to manufacture, in order to manufacture petrolata. Like it's a byproduct of refining oil for fuel. So, I mean, it's it's just, it's kind of a, it's more just created from the oil that they're already taking out. It's a waste product, basically. <laughs> kind of like uh, like paraffin and petro petrolatum. They're both uh, derived from, derived from oil, but they're, uh, but they're byproducts. They're sort of, they're sort of incidentally 
created as part of the refinement process when they're turning oil into fuels and lubricants and stuff like that. I don't know, just in case anyone was concerned that those types of products result in like additional oil being extracted. They don't. Yeah. They just buy products. But yeah, I mean, you really, it's, it's amazing how like either, so like there's only a couple of possibilities for how she ended up saying that when that was not the case. Like either she has not looked at the label or she has looked at the label and doesn't know what petrolatum is or she looked at the label, knew what petrolatum is, and decided to just lie anyway. I don't know. Tough to say. It's so ridiculous how the way that they present this shit. I've been Mac. Peace out. Bye!